Are you going to try it? Tell me what it tastes like. Yeah. Go on then. Give it. I bet it's really hot, isn't it? It's nice, very creamy, yeah. Is it? Ah, cool. Yeah. Enjoy. What are you doing then, Helen? Well, I'm just making soup in my soup maker. Uh -huh. Soup maker, folks. The Morphe Richard soup maker. Do you use that a lot then? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, cuts down on smells, cuts down on moisture. Don't like the moisture getting in the soft foam machines. No. Um, probably a lot of people have found that. Um, so we, we find it's quite good for that. If you want to drop a soup and you don't want to have a can, you can have the fresh vegetables and put it in the soup maker and it's ready in about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, and what sort of soup are you making today then? Licking potato. Licking potato. Now, is it your own recipe that you're using here? No. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. No, it's not. Why is that then? Because we've also found, where is it? I've got it. And um, we've also found that we take these away with us. People might have heard of it. It's gusto, mm -hmm. gusto meals, and they're like gastropub meals. Yeah. They're very tasty. They send you everything um, in a box. You can have it once or twice a week, three or four meals, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about these are. For the caravan, they only give you exactly what you need for each meal, i.e. like a little pot of marmite or a little block of cheese. Or so one. you get the exact ingredients yes. you need for that meal. So for the weight side of it in a caravan or a motorhome, it's better. So yeah. Do they send you all the vegetables as well? Then? Yes, they send you absolutely everything you need for the meal. I also found we've recommended these to our kids who haven't really tried a lot of cooking. And it does teach you and give you some great tips because these are actually made and uh, by chefs. So okay. they're chef's recipes. They're very tasty. Right, but you're not supposed to make this in the soup maker. It doesn't mention soup makers on this. No, is it? I'm going to adapt it slightly because I don't want to make it in the caravan in a pan. Because of the moisture and yeah. the smell. Yeah. So okay, all right. Um, I have a quick question. What's in that glass? Vimto. Ah, uh, yeah. Campo Vieco, <laughs> isn't it? It's red wine, isn't it? It's Vimto. All right. So you've done your prep already, then you've done your yeah. chopping up. Yeah. And what are these rolls? Are they, do they come with it, the rolls? They're ciabatta rolls. Everything comes with it. Oh, cool. Yeah, everything. So I'll show you how it all goes together. Right, before we get cracking then, what, what ingredients have you got in? Just talk me through. Two leeks. Two what? Leeks. Two leeks, yeah. 80 grams of cheddar cheese. Yeah. One nor stock cube. What sort of stock cube? Vegetable. Yeah. Uh, two marmite pots, which are optional because a lot of people don't like marmite. So you can leave them out and just make cheese toasties. Three white potatoes, two garlic cloves, five grams of chives, a soft cheese pot and two ciabatta rolls. So that's all you need for the whole thing. Cool. So what's next? Well, what's next? Before we do what's next, I just wanted to tell you about Gusto and what you get when you subscribe. You get one of these recipe books. Yeah. Um, and they'll send you a card every time. Yeah. And also you get a Gusto wooden spoon. We're on. So what are you doing? I'm just making the stock to go in the vegetables. It's a vegetable stock cube. Yeah. And you need 750 mils and water which is about there cool so just let that melt in the meantime i put some butter in the pan yeah. melted it and i'm now adding the leeks Oh, okay. Just to soften the leeks. So is it, this is a little bit of prep before you go into your soup maker then, is it? Yeah. Well, what's the idea of this? Why do you do that? I think it's, it's just to soften the vegetables and uh, add right. the butter, give it a start before the machine. Don't forget this is, uh, this is kind of a makeshift for the soup yeah. machine. So we, um, I should just point out at this stage, although we're talking about gusto a lot, we don't, get any money from Gusto we're just doing this because we really find it useful and uh, it's really time saving isn't it convenient I mm. suppose and so we're just sharing what we do uh, so 
You got your leaks in? Yeah. What else are you putting in? Um, nothing yet. We're just going to okay. soften them down. And then we'll put the garlic in and the potatoes. Cool. Once we've got these a little bit softer. So we're just growing the cheese up now. Let me go around the other side so I can get a better view. Ooh, caravan's rocking. I don't know, I've only got three legs down. <laughs> if you see the caravan are rocking, then we're just doing some cooking. Do you get it? Because that's about the only time you will see it rocking. <laughs> nice little close up in the pan. Oh, yeah, you, your links are softening nicely. Mm -hmm. Cheese is getting grated, lovely. So, adding, oh. adding the spuds now then, yeah? We're adding the spuds, yeah. Are you any seasoning in this pan? Salt. There's salt in at the moment. Just a sprinkle of salt, yeah? Yeah, with the leeks. Oh, okay. Shall I do a bit of stirring for you? Yeah. I like to get involved. Give it a Oh yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> yeah. You don't feature in the videos very much, and now everyone can understand why. All I get is abuse. <laughs> So how long is it taking reality to make this? Once it's in the soup maker, how long will it About 20-25 minutes, that's all. Cool, when you used to make soup though in the pan from scratch, it used to take hours. Yeah. That's quite a big saving. So you save a bit of electric or gas, don't you? Yes. Whichever yes. way you look at it. You see, right, where are we now then? What, I, what we need to do is, we've got to put it into there, the max button. Right. Okay, I've known this myself through error. If you fill too much liquid in the soup maker past the 1600 mil, yeah. then it won't work. It just won't work Well, the machine all. don't work. Yeah. Well, that's so clever though, isn't it? It's got a little cut out on it. You've actually got the line inside as well, which you can't see. Oh, yeah. So put the veg in first, top it up with a liquid, seasoning, and then you bang it on. Cool, all right. So you're going to put some stock in here now, are you? No. I thought that's what you were going to do. got to do it the other way, I think. Oh, you're going to put that in there? Yeah. Okay, hang on then. I'll get out your way. Stock going in. So you're keeping a close eye on this line now, are you? Yeah. So we haven't quite got enough in there. Okay. So we just top it up with the water in there. From the kettle. So there see, we are. Yeah. It's up to max now. Caravan cooking, folks, at its best. So we'll add a bit more salt. I like a bit of pepper in mine. A bit more pepper. Sure. Well, a bit of pepper, actually. I haven't yeah. put any in yet. Give it a mix. Now, I have to show you about the soup maker as well. Right. It's pretty clever. Right, what are we doing now? So, you, you put the water up to the line and you put the top on. Now, I'll show you this. You've got a mode button and you can either have it smooth, chunky, yeah. or you can juice it and blend it at the end if you just want to, to go with that. So, you'll push which one you want. We want smooth for this recipe. Okay. And then you push on off. And that's your time and it should start in a minute. So that'll be ready in 21 minutes then according to mm. this. So it's a little bit loud. Okay, well we'll just let it work away for 21 minutes. We'll come back and check on it. Anything you can be doing in the meantime while your soup's making? Washing up. Oh right, I wonder who's going to get that job. <laughs> You'll take the rough with a smoothie. Yeah. Should, we have a, should we have a bit more of your Vimto or should we have some proper red wine? Whatever you like. I'll have the red wine then. Right, I've got the top off the... Uh, off the Campo Viejo, my, our favorite red wine, by the way, is the Spanish Rioja, Campo Viejo. It's about seven or eight quid a bottle over here. Get over to Spain, it's about two euros. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Anyway, that's uh, every good chef has to have a little tipple. These are big glasses, mind you. I think we'll have full of these. Have to have a little tipple while they're cooking. And every videographer has to have one as well. There you go, my dear. That is not Vimto. Proper See, job. It's different to Vimto, it's darker. Yeah, and you, you can get drunk on it. Mm. Anyway. Cheers. Cheers. I still like the Vimto. You said cheers and drank the Vimto. <laughs> you started without me, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm making the cheesy Marmite toasties. So, you cut the ciabatta, you, you butter both sides, Yeah. inside. You put on the cheese, and if you want the marmite. Which I do, because I love marmite. Put it and on you the either top. love it or you hate it, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Put it on the top slice, and then you'd fold them together. Put them in the pan, okay. and then it says to put something heavy on the top. I That's can't get on that. 
and uh, and then cook them till they're toasted. Flip them over, and then that's your toasties. Oh, nice. That's good. So that's a nice accompaniment with our soup then later yeah. on. Soup and salad. Like it. I'll go and set a table though, all right? Yeah. I'll put the big lights on now because I've set the table. Are you pleased with that table? Yeah. That's not bad, is it? Well. 14 to go. So this is the marmite. I'm I'm not going to have any. I'll have both bits of marmite on mine then. If yeah. you don't want it. Okay. What are you doing with the rest of these chives? Have they got to go on top of the soup? They go on the soup when they're done. Uh, okay. By the way, we don't normally carry this great big heavy wooden chopping board with us, do we? This, we have, we've got a little plastic no, one underneath. That's for the house. We just grab that out of the house. Oh, what I forgot to tell you was, 20 minutes later and two glasses of this. I don't care about the soup anymore. I'm quite happy. Who needs soup when you've got red wine? And the best part about it is, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Cheers, everyone. Happy New Year. I was rather hoping this year we'd be getting out with the caravan. But to be honest with you, you don't have to save a lot of petrol. I've, I've paid no site fees. I'm in the van. I've got a glass of wine. Wife's doing a bit of cooking. What do you need campsites for? Just stay on the drive. And use your imagination. Mmm. I did say you might get some seagull noises. What I didn't tell you was, you may also get some seagulls just go by from time to time. Is your batter's ready then? Yeah. A plate. I'll bring you a plate over. Thank you. It's all in the presentation. That's my one, because I didn't want the... Well, that's not got, got any... Um... The marmite. No marmite in that you one. I love it or you hate it. Yeah, I love it. To be mine, then. Quite hot, actually. Yeah. Craig, you're going to put a chopping board there. <laughs> Have a play. Well, I, mean, I sounded like Rob there, didn't I? From Robin Lynn's YouTube channel. There we are. Happy bloody holidays. Oh. Right, there we go. Right, that's awesome. Nice. Hang on. Looks like we're there, Rep. And then, Helen, are we ready to go? Yeah. Mm. Is it thick? Yeah. Quite thick, isn't it? Not bad. Nice colour. Lovely smell. I keep going on about how, you know, how nice it smells. Trust me, it smells really beautiful. Really good. Now what? Oh, I like that little finishing touch. Oh, you like Nigella Lawson, aren't you? Nigella Lawson, Delia Smith, Fanny Craddock. Do you remember Fanny Craddock then? Yeah. And here you have the finished product. Look at that. Remind me again, Helen, what we got in this soup. Lick and potato, and it's got cream cheese and chives. And you have ciabatta rolls with marmite and cheese. I've just got the cheese. Yeah. I don't fancy the marmite. And the wine? And the wine is Capo Viejo Rioja. Nice. And that, folks, is how you make a really quick caravan meal using gusto. But you don't have to use Gusto, but also using our brilliant Morphe Richards soup maker. 21 minutes from uh, fresh veg to a lovely soup. Are you going to try it? Tell me what it tastes like. Yeah. Go on then. Give it. I bet it's really hot, isn't it? It's nice. Very creamy. Yeah. Isn't it? Ah, cool. Yeah. Enjoy. Cheers. And cheers, everyone. Happy New Year. Oh. Mm. Happy New Year. Right. I'll tell you what I think to it. I'll give you my honest opinion. Oh, that is good. You know, I absolutely love pepper. I'm going to have to give it a bit of a, a sprinkle of pepper. That's too much. No, I love pepper. Now, do you dunk your uh, ciabatta? Oh. You don't need to go away. I can't stay him. Stay on the drive, no site fees, no petrol. Same thing, isn't it? You take the cover off, though. <laughs> yeah, we could take the cover off, but then everyone on the street would see us having our dinner in the caravan and think we were crazy. Mm. Well, 
And to think it's only half past nine in the morning. Oh, is that way? Any more left? Oh. I miss going down the caravan, do you? Yeah. We have got some sites booked, don't we? Oh, yeah. What we got? Reminders. Scarborough for a week in April. Nice. Scotland tour for four weeks. Mm. Um, May and June. May and June, yeah. We booked oh. another one last night. Mm. Hoping everything's fair and square and we can do things. I oh, know, that's the thing, isn't it? These chapatas are brilliant, by the way. And really nice. <clears throat> the first stop was um, High Clare Castle, which is where they filmed mm. um, Downton. Downton Abbey. I wanted to go there. So that's near Newbury, not far from. Yeah, you booked a site at Winchester. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. To stay there for a couple of nights, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go Devon Cornwall. Yeah. Seven nights in Cornwall, heading back. I'm on the way back. We're going to stay at Sirencester, which is another one of the Trojan's recommendations. Thank you. And Cambridge, Cherry Hill. Just one night Hinton. at each place to break the journey up on the way home. Cherry Hinton, sorry. Cherry Hinton. Sirencester one night, and then um, Cambridge. I'm quite interested in the Sirencester site because um, it's not far from uh, Fairford, RAF Fairford, and of course the React display takes place there. If it's going to take place at all, so that might be a site to go back to. Thing is, we keep booking all these places in the hope we'll go, and then we keep cancelling them because we can't go. Hmm. I think it'll get busy though. Right, on a scale of one to ten, with ten being that was bloody good, and one being don't bother, what would you rate that at? Eight. Yeah. I'll say I'll give it a, I'll give it a nine and a half to be honest. Yeah, one bad, yeah. Really tasty soup, folks. Give it a whirl. You don't have to follow Gusto, you just go and get some spuds and some leeks and cheese and chives and garlic and what else is in it? Ciabatta. Ciabatta well yeah, ciabatta roll. A little bit of um cheese and chives and marmite on it. The marmite, you you're missing a trick there. Lovely. Wash it down with a glass of something. God, it's good. Got some more. Please, miss. Only if you wash up. Mm -mm. We have a dishwasher in the house. I know one of the benefits of being on the drive is just chuck everything in the dishwasher in the house. <laughs> That's cheating. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, this is good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Is it dark outside? No, you can't really tell, can you? <laughs> what do you miss most about a caravan? Being in it. Well, we are in it. Yeah, but being in it with a view. I love the caravan because every day, if you want, or every few days, you open the blinds and there's a different view. All right. Yeah, there's a seagull on flying. Yeah, you can just change your view. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. So kind of same, same house, different view. Yeah. Now there's only a little bit left. You don't usually drink wine. I know, but I can't leave it. Say when. Oh, that was for my first caravan trip. It's gone now. Hello. So we've got another box in the garage. Yeah, we've got, we're not short of wine, are we? Uh -oh. Or, or, um, Abdom's ghost ship. Yeah, I don't drink that. Well, you do. I've only got a little bit. I'm sure I'm going to have a raving headache later because wine does give me a headache. Well, then you'll like oh, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Well, then you'll like go to sleep. <laughs> I've got to edit this video out. This will be about a 10 minute video. It's took us about three hours to make it. Mm. Anyway, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. You're not on. Come forward a bit. There you go. In the bottom corner. Mm -hmm. Thanks, folks. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. And um, thanks to Helen for making that soup. It was really nice. 
and maybe you should come back and do some more, you know, because we don't see enough of you in these videos. I've got some other gadgets I can show you. Oh, um, uh, yeah. For the caravan. It's not to everybody's taste, but it is to mine. She's full of tricks. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> full of something. Anyway, <laughs> I was going to say cheers, but it's gone. So, um, like. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you again next time. I'm sure we'll be making another video before we get out. We'll just make a video about some more of your brilliant gusto meals. What should we do next? We'll do omelettes. Omelette. Oh, let's make some omelettes. They're not in the gusto meal. We've got no. a little omelette maker, haven't we? Yeah. Right, we'll do an omelette maker next. That'll be good. We'll have a breakfast in the caravan. Mm. See you later then. Bye. Bye for now.